What's good guys, we're out here today showing you how to work your traps. This is part of the back series. Trap is actually a large muscle that runs down the back. I'll put up a picture of the anatomy because a lot of people don't know this. It's a lot longer than just here. Basically stems down to about midpoint of your back. Kind of looks like this. It's kind of a funky thing and we're going to show you how to work it. Now, technically when you think traps, you think shrugs. There's a lot of other ways to work it through external exercises. We're going to touch into that quickly. Let's go ahead and get exercise number one, which is going to be your normal, basic dumbbell shrug. Alright? So when you're shrugging, you're grabbing your weight, you're posturing up. I don't like to use back support because I find it makes it awkward. So I like to stay right about here, grab an appropriate weight, head up, squeeze up naturally, and come down. Up naturally, hold the squeeze, come down. Up, down. Up, down. You want to really make sure you're getting that squeeze, flex your arms, flex your core. My mistake within this one is a lot of people take the dumbbells and be doing the shrugs. We'll just go up like this. You want to go up nice and controlled and not use your momentum. And this is why we're sitting down because you can't use the momentum in this exercise. You're planted, your feet are planted, and you're not going to be swinging. All right, so exercise number two is going to be a slight variation of the shrug. Now we're just going to switch our angling. Funny enough, I actually saw this on Cali Muscle's channel before he was crazy, probably like two years ago. So um, he was showing that he, his favorite thing to really get that girth at the back of your trap, close to your rhomboid area, is by leaning forward, making sure you're up here, you're postured still, and you're pulling backwards as you're shrugging up. So this is an interesting movement, backwards and up. You, it's kind of like you're doing a row, but you're really focusing on your traps as opposed to your back, but that's the best way to think of it. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it for you guys today. Just grabbing your weight, postured up. You're here and you're coming up and back. You can see I'm still really getting a good trap contraction. However, I'm also really working on that back part of my trap to where it kind of sticks out. I'd show you if I wasn't wearing a Gymshark vest. So you can see up and back. So you're really pulling back into your rhomboid. This one's a little funky and it's gonna take some time to play around with. But this part of your trap right here that kind of flares out is what you're gonna be working. So a common mistake for this one is a lot of people will think that it's similar to a row. You wanna really use the mind muscle connection to bring your shoulders back and contract the traps, okay guys? I really, I use this exercise um, to really get a nice flare to my back for the comp. You just wanna make sure that for this exercise you are hitting your traps. A lot of people I see will do this one where they turn it into a growing movement, but it needs to be very fluent. 6 a.m. in the morning, we out here filming. Got our my protein pre. So earlier I was talking about some good secondary exercises that are really gonna hit your traps hard, really help with isolation, not primarily, but kind of in a secondary fashion, which is excellent because you wanna find ways to work multiple muscles at once through the art of mind-muscle connection. Your normal shoulder lateral raise will look like this. Just very simple, you're just up and down, for some people it'll look like this, but I hope it looks like this, right? So now when you're doing this, a good way to really impact your traps, switch up the grip, nice and easy. Now at the top, you're squeezing your traps. You can see I'm focusing, I'm not trying to shrug up, but I'm trying to focus on getting that shrug. Keeping the form tight, just getting a good squeeze. Right down, squeeze. So from this, you can see I'm shifting emphasis from my shoulder to really trying to impact my trap. Obviously my shoulder is a primary mover in this exercise, but it's a great way to really squeeze your trap. Shout out to you Sauce Abraham for showing me this. Super heavyweight com competitor, great guy. Hopefully he gets his pro card soon. Beautiful exercise to try at home. Let's hand it over to Kyle. All right guys, so this is an awesome exercise, but I'm gonna go over some common mistakes. If you just bring your arms like this in a supinated format, you're not gonna feel it. This is gonna be a shoulder exercise. So when you go like this and you squeeze your traps back, it actually kills your traps. And I'm not kidding you here. So, I'm gonna show you guys. Just wanna go up, squeeze your traps. This exercise, you wanna make sure that the weight is nice and light, keep the reps high. Um, I recommend using five, 7.5, 10 pounds. For me, 10 is more than enough. And you just wanna make sure you're nice and controlled and you're squeezing back. And you're gonna feel it in your traps like crazy. And I wanna thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this video, I hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are or what you do to work your traps. And make sure you subscribe, guys. We'll see you all later. Peace.
here. Now an important thing with where we are here is your positioning. When you're pressing, you shouldn't be out here. You're leaving your shoulder very strained and this isn't very natural.